Okay guys, it's Anthony here, Subaru Service. I got Jeremy's truck here, 04. I guess this truck, I've never done a pump in it. Uh, all we've ever done to this truck is air test it. Uh, Cause it's got a pump under warranty from, I don't know, somewhere else. But uh, <clears throat> we, it's back. It's building 400 pounds. That's all it builds, not building anymore. Um, 400 is a little high for what you want for bad IPR valve. Uh, I, I mean, I I don't know, you know, at if an IPR valve is stuck at 14% at 160 RPM, you know, generally you're going to see about 200, 200 pounds. Well, this is building 400, which it's almost, and that's cold, which is concerning because if it's building 400 cold, it is so freaking close. Uh, so I went ahead and yanked it. There was physically no screen on the IPR valve and there's no screen in the board. Uh, what the hell? So I'm gonna go ahead and hook the air up. Hang on a second. Go ahead and hook air up. Get up here and look at it. Standpipe is not updated, but the dummy plug is. And we've got injector number one. Uh, let me see if I can Look at the other one. Three is good. I don't know if I can get down to the other one. All right, so injector number one is leaking. Uh, I'll have to look back at the video because I couldn't see my phone. I'll have to look back and see if uh, five and seven showing any signs of bubbling, but this turns into, we run into a little bit of what we call the garden hose effect. If we've got one leak here, then there's a good chance we seal up this leak and the next weakest one will show up which is freaking horrible, it's a drag. Uh, but, you know, if none of the other ones are leaking, I mean, we're gonna have to do nipple cup O-rings on uh, the, the oil, do it on the whole oil rail. And then, I don't do, I know a lot of you guys will be like, what the hell? I do not do top injector O-rings. I have given customers it, I've taken them over there, I put the injector in the bench, in the vise, and I give them the tools, and I give them the O-rings, and I say, you do it because it's it's not a quality in-shop repair. It's not a good repair for shop setting. It's getting them in, you have to kind of mar it up. You can't do it right. Uh, and another thing that I do here, I've never showed this, but we've been doing it, is right here. Anybody know what those are? I actually had those machined. I had those made. Anybody know what that is? That ensures that nicking a top injector o-ring with the oil rail while you're installing it doesn't happen around here we put those studs in there and uh it on and off when i took, take the oil rail on or when i when i take the oil rail off i use the studs and i slide it up off the studs and then lift it out of there and when i put it back on which is i i mean yeah i mean you can do it you can put them on without the studs but we're talking shop setting here. In shop setting, you wanna know when a shop puts the oil rails on that they're actually doing it. I mean, that, that's what Ford says to do, that's what they've always said to do, is to use studs to guide the oil rail down so you do not nip a nip, uh, nick a nipple cup or a top injector O-ring when you're installing it and so you don't disrupt the nipple cups themselves and move them around. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Yank the oil rail off, do nipple cups, and it looks like put in a number one injector. Um, I mean, you know, I'll give Jeremy the option if you want to come by here and uh, put that O-ring in that top injector, I will absolutely, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do it if you want. Uh, but on the other side of that, you know, it would be a absolute freaking drag to go through, yank the injector out, got it in your hand, 
and then fix the top injector o-ring even if it does fix it then have something in the injector go out that'd be horrible you know we've got an issue with the injector so replace the freaking injector it's i mean that's just yeah i mean whatever but uh it sucks i know but i mean it's just one of them things where i do not want to uh, well, I've had them before, actually. I've got videos. Other videos were shot at my shop, not by me, by other people. And uh, showing how to do top injector O-rings in cab. It was actually shot in this bay with the phone right here looking at it on the driver's side. Uh, putting top injector O-rings with the injector in the truck. And, you know, it's uh, the video my live feed video will show it but uh, that truck came back in about six months for the exact same thing with top ejector o-ring it did not freaking work and i've had i've had many of them it's the, the the number one quality repair unless you have all of the the tooling that they that the factory uses whoever the hell puts these injectors together which is a big ass secret unless you got the tooling that they actually use to put that in to take the snap ring out without damaging anything and put the snap ring back in because just bending the o-ring and putting it inside the top injector o-ring i have seen it fail way more times than it succeeded so yeah i don't know that's it i'm gonna go ahead and yank the oil rail double cups and uh number one injector unless he wants to do the o-ring but and we got to update that stand pipe because that stand pipe's not updated so yep there we go all right guys have a good day